it is clear based on the information that has come to us that there is a deliberate attempt to dislocate the work of the National Solid Waste Management Authority. And the fires that we have seen can only be described as an act of arson and an attempt to hijack the National Solid Waste Management Authority. We're not going to shy away from the issues that have plagued our landfill over the years. This administration continue to treat the matter with the urgency that we consider is required. Fortunately, we have taken measures over the past year and a half or so to ensure that most of the landfill is covered. We just have about three acres open at any one time for a fire suppression system. So uh, we understand what is happening um, with the citizens around the area. You know, we, we have taken steps to deal with this very quickly, as you have seen. The response yesterday was very good. Um, check, for example, we want to extend gratitude to China Harbor because when we called on them, they were able to deploy uh, some of their equipment to the site and assist us with it. Um, the information that I've received is that it's highly suspected that is arson, which will be consistent with what we've seen over the past two months on some of these fire retirement, for example, um, which cost us approximately over the past two months $64 million. And this one is estimated to cost us about $10 million, I would think. So the cost to the, the taxpayers is, is very significant. The temperature is very high. You have a certain level of atmospheric instability, and you will find that the smoke will be in the in the upper reaches. So persons like in the in the hills and in red hills and parts of um, plantation heights will be impacted at the moment. And while the firefighters work towards the afternoon or into the evening, when the, the temperature reduces, then you'll find that persons in the lower the lower levels will be will be impacted. Persons like Dwayne Park and those areas. So coming out of what the Ministry of Health is saying and what we have always said to the person whenever time there is a fire at site at Riverton is to minimize the levels of outdoor activities as best as possible. I try to cover your nose with a, with a, with a wet rug and keep children indoors as best as possible. And persons who have respiratory illnesses, we ask those persons to take precautionary measures at this time as well and try as best as possible to stay away from the location and areas being impacted by smoke.